Hello everybody, Swift here again with another meme mayhem run, the roguelike auto butler with a meme theme. And today, you know what we're gonna do? Today we're gonna play with mods. We got surprise pecan. Never saw it coming, did you? Huh? This is your face because the game has mods. Let's do this. This guy has a unique attack. Shock deals 10% energy regen as damage and 20% of your strength. So that means we have 200 energy regen right now. It's gonna be doing 20 from that. And from the 24 hour strength, it's gonna also take like 5 damage. So they should be doing 25 damage. Let's go and see how this is gonna go, and uh, let's hope for the best. Nice, and let's fight. We have 49 coins, so... Ooh, we found already unique stuff. Energy drink and power down. Remove 5 energy regen for 1 second when shock hits. So this is an anti-energy regen build, and gain 20 attack. Let's see what other unique stuff this guy has. First of all, I'm seeing uh, all these stuns is a choice here. Also, the stun in general seems to be a choice. Two shocks, so you start two times with this guy's attack. Uh, ultimate's overclock. I want to see what ultimate related things he has. Uh, energy down on the opponent. Yep, ultimates give you energy back. So there is definitely a spam bunch of ulti's build with ulti stuns and ulti uh, energy drains. So I would like to do an ulti stuns build, one of them, or maybe even ultimate scales permanent damage. That could also be nice. Peacock, lightning, or uh, we could go with energy drain. Let's go with an energy drain build for now. Let's go try a build that the opponents are not allowed to ulti us. Although I don't really think that's a good build. Other things that he has is 65 energy regen, which is an upgrade of the 40 energy regen, which I completely disagree with, by the way. There's also a choice to get a shock. That's nice. And then 20% attack speed with a blue version, which is better than the 10% attack speed white version. Once again, I don't really think it's a good idea to just have a straight up upgrade. Uh, but doesn't matter. Uh, let's not even use the buffer right now. Let's begin with... Part of the opponents down. Or, you know what? One build, I would either go with the stun or the scaling. The other build, I would like to go with a bunch of shocks. So instead of going with shock removes energy, I should just pick up two shocks. So we have more shocks, and then we can go with shocks to do more energy, if I find it, you know, if I find this. But I think it's easier to find this than find that. Uh, so just let's just go with two more shocks. And uh, the next build, I would say, let's go with ultimate stun and try to do an ultimate spamming build. Let's go with two shocks. Let's go. Like that, that's uh, 990, wait, how much cash did I have? Nah, doesn't really matter. Let's go, I want to see if I get cash here and if I lose cash. Got an ulti out, very nice, and we won. So we have a bunch of shocks right now that should be doing a lot of damage. And found another shock, and I found health region. I'm going to take that. Five health region after every fight. This, we have uh, 30 fights in front of us, so this is like 140 health region almost throughout the run. Which is really, really strong. 140 health region is something to not laugh about. What's the final boss, by the way? I didn't even see what the final boss is. Is it Chad? I hope it's um, definitely not Chad. Okay, it's the easiest one from all of them. 90 energy region on low life. I would say yes to that. So that means low life, we're going to be doing a lot of damage. Let's lose 50 coins for 80 energy region right now. That's also an instant take. I want to do an energy regen build here first, so we do shocks, do energy regen damage, and just go with energy regen. And the other build, I would like to do an ultimate spamming build with a bunch of ultimates, uh, shoot ultimates. Maniac give you more damage, I guess he also is in Maniac. 25 health regen, I'm not gonna use the rerolls unless I lose, because the two rerolls are very low to have, uh, so might as well make sure that I am, you know, if I lose a fight, I have the chance to reroll instead of randomly rerolling health regen away just because... Uh, spending money gives you uh, strength, might as well, might as well go for strength, although there was ultimates give you attack speed, that was a mistake. Ultimate give you attack speed is what I actually should have gone for. Did I re-roll this? I, I can't actually re-roll this, you cannot re-roll, I cannot do this and like you cannot play safe and crit, it's just gonna send you off to the start of the game. Uh, steal luck from the opponent, I obviously would like to get this but I only have 50 coins, I would say let's steal 20 luck from the opponent. Simple, clean, it's gonna give us crit chance. It's gonna reduce the opponent's crit chance, and um, yeah, if I get later dodging, crit chance is gonna help us out. This guy has 10 damage, all in all, doesn't really do that much. We're just gonna continue attacking him with our crazy health energy regen. Definitely should have gone with the attack speed on ultimate use. That was a mistake on my end, but it's okay. Uh, 25 income is what I would say, especially because when I spend money, I gain strength. And uh, let's go on. Uh, low life gain, energy regen, strength or luck. I mean, I do enjoy the luck idea, the luck an angle. Health regen, low life might keep us in the game. Might as well go with this. Low life uh, getting buffs is also a decent idea here. If I go low life and start gaining health regen and energy regen, especially the energy regen aspect is going to help us do more damage and also shoot out more ultimates. Oh, we found 65 energy regen, instant take, don't even think about it. That should give us 6 more damage to my attacks. Yeah, my attacks are doing 40 damage right now. We're definitely outpacing the opponents. 
But we're also losing life. But we also have health regen, so we're not going to lose that much life. Poop should poop. Nope. 40 energy regen, the weaker version, but that's 4 more damage. So we'll take that. 4 crit, 4 dodge, or 700 max health. Honestly, I would say 700 max health, even though I'm going to get the vulnerable uh, between these choices. I don't have that much max health. I would like to be able to uh, survive something. And honestly, the low life issue is you get ulted, you die. The weakness version is opponents attack you a lot of times and you die. Let's hope we're going to not get attacked a lot of times, I guess. Uh, thorn block or energy region, low life or healing gives you flexes. I mean, I do have health region at this point and we will have more health region. So this is pretty much a free flex every second as we will have about 160 health region at the end of the game. This is one flex every second, which is damage. Thorns block is nice. Health region, low life is also nice. I mean, these two combo, obviously. Uh, let's go flexing for free. Uh, so flexing for free is going to be happening no matter what I do here because I have health regen. So we're going to very slowly scale, but this is going to become better and better the more fights we do. The more health regen we have, the more we're going to flex for free. And another one. Uh, ultimate on dodge, not really. S strength on money spent. I mean, I have 50 income, so this is going to be a decent amount of strength. This is two flexes per healing, and I'm also increasing my healing. So let's assume I'm going to spend... You know what? I have 50 income. We're going to get 20 times 50. That's 1,000 coins. So this 1,000... Uh, I mean, literally, the fights, that's it. So this is 20 strength. This is 20 strength because I get 50 income. Every 50 coins I spend, I gain a strength. 20 fights left. This is 50 strength. Uh, 20 strength. I think 20 strength is better than this. And I, can, I, might, I might get more coins, so this might give us more than 20 strength. It's better than flexing slowly, I would assume. 65 energy region and 2% attack speed per fight. Startup relics happen. I don't really have startup relics. Nope. So I would say we go 65 health region and 2% attack speed per fight. Let's take this. Oh, wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I can increase my income. Wait a minute. Do I have enough money for those two? Yes, I do. This is 60. Let's assume that this is 70 and this is 90. Well, that's 160. And they are less than the numbers I said, so it definitely works. So this is my gonna, six, um, 6 dodge and 25 income is 3D income and 10 dodge. And I'm going to also buy the 2% attack speed after every fight. So this might be the only one that can kill us, honestly. But he's taking a lot of damage, so I don't think he's going to be able to. I have 450 energy region right now. My lightnings do 53 damage. Okay, we have a lot of damage and we're scaling more and more health region. 66 luck, but get one less choice and close into the love train. Or just 8 armor and be done with it. Because I'm not really into crits right now and I do want to keep the choices, I would say we just go with apple. Although I'm most likely going to find the other thing that gives us more choices in a moment, but whatever. Whenever I ulti gain ulti back, I would say yes. Actually... I have 450 energy regen. I would say ultis give out attack speed is safer than this. Not safer, more damage. Uh, this is going to give us more ultis. This is going to give us more attack speed. Let's go with more attack speed. Because we are in attack build at the end of the day. We do have 52 damage attacks. Scaling more attack speed every fight is good for us, in my opinion. Uh, I want to do this. Spam a bunch of ultis build after this. 65 energy regen. Just you see, there was a 40 energy choice and a 65 energy choice. What would I take? Just tell me, what, what what were the chances I would take the other one? Like, none. Zero. That's why I don't enjoy having two times the same choice as an upgrade. And the game actually doesn't do that at all. Flexes have the chance to shoot flexes or gain a flex or permanent strength gaining based on flexes. Uh, I would say flexes have a chance to shoot flexes. We have the free flexing, but I think this is the actual play. So this is almost every second in fight, I gain 166 of his strength. I'm going to go with the permanent strengths. Because we do get free flexes based on my healing I'm gaining. Uh, health region, but lose max life. Luck. Or just max life. I would say... Just max life. Luck is gonna give us better choices. Let's go luck just to get better choices of things to get. And I have dodge anyway, so... Where did I find this 15 dodge, though? Wait a minute. Why do I have 15 dodge? 13 dodge? Where did I find this dodge? Give me a second here to see. What did I gain for dodging? Where did I find that dodge? Uh, did I, oh, the, the cat, the cat, the cat, the cat, the cat, the cat, the cat. Energy or health region. I mean, health region is flexing. As you see, we did get, we did get 3 out of 66. This is flexing. This is more ultis. Do I have anything that has to do with more ultis? Attack speed. Yeah, we're going to go with more ultis then. Although I would like to do the next build to be more ultis, but it's okay. Whoop, ulti. Kaboom. Go another one. Kaboom. And he's gone. Easy enough. Gain more health region, gain more attack speed, and 7 flexes out of 66. 
Attacking the opponent drains energy away or using ultis gives you damage. I'm going to say using ultis gives you damage for three seconds. Draining energy away uh, is a good idea, but you know what's better. Health regen percentage based. Gain strength. I have the window here. Gain strength, but get vulnerable. Uh, no, I'm going to just say health regen percentage based. And then uh, I could say when pull debuff, which is going to increase the damage of opponents. Like, actually, let's just get the flex and uh, let's go on. I don't want the rest. I don't want to take more damage. I also don't want to block ultis. We should look at my energy region here. We just shoot energy, ultis out. Uh, the opponent can't even damage us because I'm healing too much. And he's gone. And he's gone. I got 47 flexes, 27% uh, more chance. Uh, the income thing. Okay, we lose income, but the shop's cheaper. That's gonna make strength scaling, which I have twice, right? Yeah, I have this twice a lot worse. Although I do know that I have the combo, I'm seeing it. Only fans, fans. Uh, this, as far as I know, is the the income still is minus 25, but it's like 40%, 50% discount. And instead of 20 luck from this, I gain like 3D luck or something. It's not really that crazy good. I would prefer to get 5 strength, 250 max life, and 1% health regen. And the health regen combos into us gaining more strength. Also, everything being more expensive is better for us. Ultimates gives us more ultimate damage. Well, I got that build, so next build is going to be the stun build. So now I got the ultimate damage scaling build. So we're going to start scaling ultimate damage forever pretty much. And because I'm also scaling strength, all of those are going to combo into each other. We're going to be very strong here. Healing launch is more flexes or more ultis, shoot more ultis. I mean, I should go with this to scale the ultimate damage a lot faster. This is going to make this faster, but now we're going to go with spam ultis. Spam ultis is this guy name anyway. So now we're gaining 300 energy every time I shoot out an ulti. And he's gone. We're gonna become faster and faster on shooting out ultimates. The flex mechanic, like who cares? Stun attack speed. Stun. Oh no, we're gonna go every 66 flexes gaining permanent strength. Stunning. This is the other build. This is the stun ulti build. We're gonna have to go this route. And let's see what we're gonna get here. Uh, 200 max health or 3% crit chance or just lose money. I'm gonna say 200 max health. I just need to survive, by the way, until my first ulti fire shots. After my first ulti shoots, we win pretty much. We continue scaling uh, ultimate damage, continue scaling energy regen, continue scaling strength. Get another shock. Gain percent attack speed or gain health regen. Uh, at this point, shock is irrelevant. We're not really a shock build. Although I began with a shock idea, but no, we're just a health regen build. Uh, we're just an ultimate build at this point. So let's just start scaling uh, ultimates. Ultimate again. I would like to get ultimates heal you 250, of course. That's very important. More energy region is also nice. And wow. Wow. 6% ultimate damage or another 150. I would say 6% ultimate damage every time I get that. I've never ever had two of those ever. Flex give you attack speed. I found the more choices. I told you we're going to find the more. 200 more energy on ulti use. I don't have the right hand. That would be start with an ultimate. Okay, first of all, we're going to go 200 energy on ultimate use. And then we're going to also go more choices. And uh, now I would say we go with the left hand, which is that if I get the right hand, I'm going to have you start with an ultimate. And starting with an ultimate would be insane because right now I'm getting 500 energy back on ulti use. So I will take this as a gamble. We have two more shops in front of us, so the gamble is pretty a decent gamble. So this guy, whenever he ultis, he starts actually playing. I don't think he will ulti in time. I think we're just going to scale ulti so much. I really thank you for the help. He's going to now ulti us and stun us. Boom. Okay. Well, too late. You're dead. <laughs> he didn't even get all his emojis. And we found ultis can crit. Of course, we're, uh, all your ulti does 150% more damage, but you lose energy regen. Definitely. Now we're going to go your ultis can crit. And you get 8% uh, crit chance. Very nice. Energy regen is an, of course, instant take. Now I have 555 energy regen. I'm losing a lot of life very, uh, life very fast, but we won. Double ultis, crit them to death. We won. This is a rush build now. Woo! Low energy 90% or another 150. We're gonna go with another 150. Everything is gambling on the fact that I'm gonna be shooting three ultis per second. Uh, got him. Okay, I, the first ulti is the hardest one. After that, we win. Okay, another 40 energy regen. This is insane what's happening right now. Okay, so max health, dodge, or crits. Um, I would say dodge, honestly. 
because we have a decent amount of luck and increasing my dodge by a decent amount is a bit safer than having a bit more health regen and getting vulnerable is something I can't really avoid. Ultimate, ultimate. Okay, give me ultimates, heal us. That's the best case scenario here. Or starting energy. I mean, for the energy or emergency energy. I'm not gonna go 40. I need the regen right away. Like, from the start of the fight, I need the regen. Because look at this. He hasn't even got us half life and he's gone. Yeah, I definitely, definitely need the regen right away, the energy. What's even happening, by the way? Attack speed, no. Crits give us dodge. I'm not critting that often with 8%. More flex is more healing. I would say more healing, so we stay in the fight. I don't need more flexing. I need. I just. I need to stay in the fight as long as possible. Dodge is nice. Torn block is nice. Ultimates gives you 20 health regions. Nice. Dodge and you can dodge ultis is also nice. So I'm gonna say ultimates give you health regen and dodge and you can dodge ultis. Especially that you can dodge ultis is good here. So I have 26% dodge right now. Let's do this. Okay, this guy should destroy us. Unless I ulti him fast enough. Ulti, 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 ulti. More health regen, more health regen, more health regen. No! He killed us. If I dodged the ulti there, we would have won. Let's reload this and try something else. Uh, let's try to go with uh, flex. Uh, let's just go with crits. Give you dodge. And uh, here we're going to still go with the exact same idea. Because we might have changed the algorithm here. And the 26% dodge might actually save us from his ulti. Because that's literally the only thing we need to get saved by. Ulti, 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 ulti. Miss, 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 miss. He did miss. Let's try this again. This time I'm going to re-roll my options. Because these are not really going to save us. Unless the flex is going to save us. But I don't think that's the matter. Let's try this just once. To see if there is a difference here. Uh, these two choices are still the exact same, by the way. Let's try this again. Although I could have gone dodge and dodge ultis, but honestly, ultis giving us 20 health regen is definitely the choice here. We're, we're shooting so many ultis out. That is the difference maker. And he did miss once again. Let's try this now with completely different choices, which changes the shop, by the way, which is very bad, but it's okay. Okay, so ultis 150% more energy instant, but I don't think I'm going to have the relic choices the same. Oh, we have the ultis give you ultis. Nice. And we have percentage-based healing. So we're going to go ultis give you health regen and percentage based healing. Let's see now that I have even more energy regen every time I ulti how insane this is going to look. Let's go boom, 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 boom. My health regen goes up faster and faster. No. I don't think this is worth, this is possible then because I'm shooting so many more ultis and still doesn't work. I guess let's go with the 5 dodge, and then plus the ultis give you regen and the health regen percent. Like this and this. Maybe max health is the play. I think uh, ultimates give you regen is the definite need. I just got 27 health regen by the... Yeah, this gives me 27 health regen. Maybe that's not good enough. Oh, ah, we died. Let's try to get the 300 max health. Maybe that is good enough. Maybe the ultimates heal you is not the play. Uh, health regen percent is not the play. Let's go with this again. And let's go with here. We're going to go with uh, health regen and just 300 max life flat. Although that doesn't make sense because this is 3D health regen. Yeah, that, that's more. There's no way this is going to uh, keep us more alive than the other one. I don't think 300 max life is the main difference maker here. Yeah, we died. Ooh, 2008. You know what? Let's actually try to maybe reroll the shop this time. This here is definitely a take. Right, this is definitely a take. Let's try to reroll the shop. This and this is, doesn't work. Does the black hole work? Maybe the black hole works because it blocks his ulti. Okay, let's try this and this. This might actually work here. Because it, this is going to block his ulti. And it's also going to block my ultis. Which isn't really that bad because I'm going to continue attacking. Yeah, here we stay alive. But look at the crazy regen. And we're out of the hole. Nice, nice, nice. I found a way. Nice. And now we have every time we ulti we heal. Uh, my ult does 150. Who cares? Whenever I ulti, I have 50% chance to shoot all the emojis. Let's do that. Which seems insane. Okay, let's see what we can get here. Flexes give you attack speed. Or flexes give you flexes. I would say flexes give you attack speed. Once again, I'm not even really using the rules unless I'm in a boss fight. Ulti, 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 ulti. And he's gone. Two ultis is enough to just destroy opponents here. I just need more energy regen or starting energy regen. 20 luck is more dodge. And uh, I do have 20% dodge, so 20 luck is, I think, the play. Ultis give you 20% more damage. Ultis give you 20% extra damage is, I think, also really insane. Let's actually take that. We're dying. Ulti, 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 got him. Woo! This is a race at this point. 
Nobody survives 6 seconds. Definitely I don't survive 6 seconds. 65 energy regen. Let's go. Even faster ultimates. 10% uh, luck. 33 health regen against 122 life. 8 money. I guess spend 50 coins to get 11 luck. Which is going to be a bit more dodge and a bit more crit chance. Oh, ulti, ulti, ulti. Got him. I mean, first ulti almost is death. Second ulti is just a, bo a bonus we shoot out. 90 energy regen on low life. Or even more luck for dodging and crit chance. I mean, we have my ultis can crit, so... I'm, I'm always, always low life, though. Nah, let's go with this. At low life, if I shoot an ulti, we're already dead. Whoa, we are already dead. Oh, ah, so close. So close. Let's try this again with the energy regen this time, and just in case that makes a difference. I don't think it will, but who knows. Because we're going low life very fast. Whoa. I did ulti twice back to back, but still, the exact same thing happens. I'm not fast enough at this one. Uh, can these help us in any way, shape, or form? Can this maybe? Are we healing so much that we're gonna get a little bit more strength and that's gonna be enough somehow? Wow, that was enough! I think it was a crit though, 11,000 damage was what I saw. Uh, I guess more attack- no, these are all useless. Yeah, these are completely useless. 5 strength just so that the ulti does a little bit more. Can I get some kind of max life? Thank you. 20 luck. Uh, heal after 6 seconds. Yeah, that's just not gonna happen. Uh, 300 max life, I would say, and 20 luck. And let's see how we're gonna deal with the boss. Uh, let's go. Ultimate regen, go. Ulti, go. Fire ultis. Doom, boom, boom, boom. Oh, we're dying. We died. I don't think this is beatable. <laughs> I don't think this is beatable. We are, we're shooting too many ultis here and he's just exploding us. I I guess uh, energy regen. Oh, that's useless though. Why did I take that? I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, max life and uh, thorn block. He doesn't have thorn. Heal after six seconds. Useless. Just luck. It's the exact same. I'm gonna most likely reroll the next fight. So the thing is, this guy ultis when you ulti. So the moment I do my first ulti, he does his ulti and we die. I'm doing a lot of damage very fast, but and unless I find your ultis heal you 250, there is no chance here. Okay, 300 max life, as we said. And... Mm, ooh, 700 max life. And 10 armor, but lose 500 max life. We're gonna just get the 700 max life, which is not 700, it's 900, right? Wait, didn't I have the combo? I saw a tick there. No, I had the hamburger twice now. Well, that's not what I want. Uh, 10 armor might not be enough. 12 strength. I don't think I need that. Ultimates give you more damage. Let's do that. And let's see how much more damage that's going to be. Is it going to be enough for us to destroy this guy in seconds? Ulti, 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 ulti. And we won. Woo! 12,000 damage. 3, 4 ultis off. And we won. Very nice. Very nice. Let's do another one. And this time we're going to do this stun build. Although we definitely need max life. Uh, yeah, let's do another one with Pika. Surprise Pika. Let's go with the stun build. And uh, I would like to know... I don't think I have these, by the way. I don't. I would like to know if I lose money here. I did lose money, but I didn't gain. Oof. So I'm losing 10 coins for the perk buffet, but I'm not gaining anything from beating the bosses. I think that's an oversight. Mods actually losing you money on the perk buffet. That obviously has to do with the perk buffet idea being a new thing. Let's go ultimates and do a half a second stun. And that should combo with uh, just getting infinite ultis, which this character seems to be set up doing. So uh, let's see how this is gonna go in general. Boop. Now starting with ultis would have made a huge difference there in the previous run. Get a shock, permanent strength gain. I mean, I'm forced into one of these. Uh, I guess get the shock. I don't enjoy any of these. Or just get the dodge. Let's just get the dodge. If I can bring my dodge up to 99%. 90, and 90 is the maximum. If I can get the dodge up to 90%, you take almost no damage. Dodge is as if it's damage reduction. Like, this is... I'm reading this as 6% less damage taken. Because that's how it works in the first place. 2% health regen. 40 energy regen. Ooh. I mean, 40 energy regen. Because if I can stun lock the opponent, we're gonna win. Uh, if I can get, I guess, 1000 energy regen. 7 strength. Four strength. Wait a minute, what's the boss? Not that guy. Come on, man. Could have gone with a combo. 33 energy regen. We're gonna, we're gonna go with 33 energy regen. Not that that's something crazy. But at least it is something, I guess. Ultimate. Got him. Very nice. The more ultis we can get out of this, the better. Uh, luck. I mean, yeah, luck so we can get some dodges going. The main idea is we want to stun lock the opponent. If I can stun lock the opponent, we're good to go. Nobody should be able to do anything as long as they're stun locked. I think they don't even shoot ultimates. They don't do anything if they're stun locked. Uh, can I even read what the stun actually does? It's finally sort of like, you know, it doesn't say that. 300 max life or money. This is uh, 250 coins. 
Do I want 250 coins or 300 life? I'm gonna say 250 coins throughout the run, that is. 65 energy regen, ultimates give you strength, ultimates stun. I mean, 65 energy, uh, ultimates crit is this, ultimates regen and 50, 65 energy. We're gonna 60, 65 energy regen and ultimates regen. These two are really good choices for this character. I'm gonna have 338 energy. This guy gets stunned, and whenever he gets stunned, I think he gets crit chances, this thing. Gets stunned for one second, reload, and get a random buff when stunned. So when I stun him, he gets a random buff. Which is a bit sad and bad, but it's okay. Because we get health regen every time we get, uh, we ulti, so it's okay. Give him energy regen something. Heal after 6 seconds. Shop's cheaper. Uh, this is not worth it. We're gonna go 1000 health after 6 seconds. These are, these are very weak relics. Low life regen. Rush. I'm gonna say low life regen. Oh, just crit early game. No low life regen. Although we need a lot of life for that to actually be worth it. But it might save us early game. We get regen anyway when we ulti. Almost got hit. Surprise Pikachu face. <laughs> Surprise Pikachu face. Crit's ultimate damage. Ooh, I would say ultimate damage. Although with so much luck, crits could also be the thing. But ultimate damage is safer, and also we are in ultimate build anyway. Yeah, this healing uh, for a thousand after six seconds is gonna give us a lot of wins until I get to level 25 or something. Shock, thorn block, or crit damage. Ultimates could crit would be a combo here. Let's get a shock pretty much forced on us. Choices are apply vulnerable, 50 energy regen, but gain one vulnerable attacks. We're gonna go 50 energy regen, of course. Free energy regen is energy regen, which I'm gonna accept. I would really, really like to get the thing that says... Uh, I want to get the things that say when you ulti, you get another ulti. Those are the most important things. 50 max life at long last. I see the attack speed on ulti. We get 50 max life here. This is about 1,000 life throughout the game. So we're at 2,600 at the final boss. Ultimate. We're gonna heal 1,000. Nice. And we win. Very nice. I want the stun lock build. Stun attack speed also choice. Nice! 300 energy on startup. That's really, really, really good. That's what we needed the previous fight. And I found this, uh, first of all, I found the shoot and ulti right away half point. And ulti, you get attack speed when you stun somebody. Uh, I would like to get this for sure. And uh, attack speed on stun. This, by the way, is going to pay for itself in two fights. Attack speed on stun is definitely what I want. <clears throat> Strength and vulnerable, I would say no. So whenever I ulti, I stun the opponent. Whoop. Stun, no, whenever I stun the opponent, I shoot a bunch of lightning out, is what I want to say. Stun, I am taking, getting much damage, I think we won here anyway, and we won, very nice. Attack speed on stun is the build we're doing. Startup relics happen every 6 seconds, that's actually good, we're gonna take that. Definitely better than the ninja that I'm seeing. So, uh, I have a startup relic gain 300 energy, so every 6 seconds we're gaining 300 energy. Ultimate damage even higher, attack speed. I guess ultimate damage even higher. They're, the other two are so relevant to what I'm trying to do. This is also very irrelevant. But at least we're gonna kill the opponents faster. The idea is I stun them and then we should attack them a bunch of times. And then I stun them again and again and again. 65 energy regen. Don't even think about it. Let's go. Ultimate. Kaboom. Ultimate again. Whoop. We got hit. After 6 seconds we heal. We need more max life so we can tank the early game. Uh, shock or attack speed or thorn block. Honestly I would say thorn block. Attack speed is a bit irrelevant. We're not in damage build. Let's go Thorn Block so we don't randomly die from Thorns. Uh, 200 max health against Crit Chance. I would say 200 max health. Or just spend the money. <laughs> okay, ulti. Stun him. Ulti. Stun him. I like how it's like... You hear the lightning attacks after the stun happens. Okay, I would say once again, luck means dodge and dodge means uh, survivability. Of course, I need to get more dodge for all of this luck to be worth it. I'm very low on dodge right now. Nice. I would like to get like 80% dodge if I somehow could do that. Flexes give you flexes. Useless. I guess more shocks because we get attack speed on stun. Booty energy regions is the instant take. Lose 6 vulnerable. That's really good. That's really good. Gain 2 stones with lose strength. No. Black hole. This could save us, but no. We're gonna go here and here. Energy regen is definitely yes, and lose all the possible vulnerable we're gonna get until the end of the game. Now this guy's gonna be stunning, uh, ulting us a lot. Every time we ulti, we regen life. So if I can get a couple more ultis out, I'm gonna win. Uh, we have a regen amount here, that's possible. Uh, 440 damage. Uh, no, yes! Uh, no! 
We got him so close. Well, the thing is, I want all of the things I previously picked up. These were useless. If I reroll here, the shop's gone. Let's reroll to, to get things from the shop, though. For the energy regen, for sure. Okay, ultimate skill, 150. This is an instant yes. And get 50 coins per purple, and this is a purple, so I can buy this and this. I didn't find the vulnerable again, so we're gonna buy this and this. Get money back. I would have liked to get this, but it's okay. Uh, what is the end this way? The ult is 250 healing. Yeah, that should be a win for us then. Let's go. Energy regen, low life could also be nice, but eh, whatever. Okay, now we heal and we get 20 health regen every time we ulti. So I don't think we should be possibly losing now. I'm gaining a lot of health out of every ulti this time. Yeah, and we're also stunning the opponent. And let's not forget, every 6 seconds we get the startup things happening again. So I just got a 300 energy boost there for a second. Nice, we won. Nice, nice, nice. We're maintaining balance. Eight armor is very good. Selecting perks from the opponent is also really, really good. Because you can choose and pick when you want to get these pieces. Ooh. I think eight armor is the play, though. I'm playing a defensive build. And this character has a lot of energy things anyway. You see? Nothing. <laughs> I'm gonna go 5% dodge. We're going with a defensive route. Armor, uh, dodging, and just scaling, healing, and scaling, regen, and, you know, everything that has to do with surviving. Survivability build. And stunning the opponent and everything else. 250 energy on ulti, definite healing on ulti, and another 50 coins. Nice. So I'm healing 500 life every time I ulti. I wanna see if I'm... Uh, theoretically, I should be only burstable. I should be anti-slow played, only burstable. Regen, instant take, don't think about it. More stuns, more regen, more healing. Ice or max life. Um, ooh, there, we had the gloves at some point. Let's get the ice. The reason being that every time we ulti, we shoot out 50 attacks anyway. So, drup, shoot out like 3-4 ice. That's 4% attack speed down. We're going very slow and steady and very opponents can't really play. That's the route we're going with. Gain strength. This is 11 strength. Ulti gives us attack speed. Um, ultis give us attack speed sounds nice in my book, so let's get ultis give us attack speed. We're ulting off anyway. Nice, ulti again, ulti again, whoop, got him. And we're scaling attack speed more, that means more ice on the opponents, that's nice. Ice is nice, flexes, no rush, crit chance, no emergency attack speed, all of these are bad. I'm gonna just take this in case we get some flexes somehow, somewhere, something. 65 energy regen and the burger. I mean, just these. Uh, although I'm getting the anti vulnerable again. We're gonna get 65 energy regen, and we're gonna get the burger. The burger is not gonna give us um, vulnerable because I got the combo. So we have 2 ice and 800 max life and no downside. And I can also get the crit chance because I'm a luck build, so might as well go for it. We'll just keep the money for maybe better things. Let's keep the money for maybe better things. So this guy ulties and then starts attacking you. I don't think he has any chance of winning because I'm gonna have already my attack speed and Boba T stacked to an amount where we should not be afraid. He's gonna stun us for two seconds now. And now he's gonna get all his scaling going. But I don't think he's gonna scale faster than what we already have scaled. It's too late, my boy. And we won. Very nice. What are the glasses? That he looks cool now. Lose choices? No, we're gonna get the dual perk. The Dark Duel. So I'm gonna be able to use that twice. It has a 4 second cooldown. 5% healing after a fight. This is about 50 healing. I would say yes to about 50 healing. I mean, if you think about the fact that I'm using Boba T for 20 healing and 40 and 60, might as well start with 50, right? Uh, now, I don't get the permanent stun effect, stun effect that I would like to get, but it's okay. 400 coins is an instant take. That means I can buy a full-on shop. Just full shop buy right there. Two full shop buys, actually, because we have money gaining. Got this guy. I really enjoy this permanent healing build that I have built up. This is a very, very slow and steady stun lock healing and survivability build. Wow, now it's 150. Definitely take that. 750 healing every shot. Worth once is always nice. Max life is also nice. We're gonna get this. 50 coins for the octopus combo. So from 50 coins per purple and 15 attack speed and minus 5 strength. We win 25% attack speed from 15. Minus 5 strength is the same. And 100 coins per purple. Although at this point I definitely have enough um, money for the rest of the game. I will be buying literally everything. Uh, they ulted us. I'm also healing 1000 after 6 seconds. 
And let's see Dark Duel. Nope, not yet. Stuns give us 200% attack speed. Yes, that's literally the build. Boom. What's the next boss? I need to see what the next boss is. Whoop. When they ulti, I heal a thousand. And we won. And now I should be able to do Dark Duel. Dark Duel is here. Uh, stun at half this in the beginning. That's actually really good for us. Uh, this guy has only stones, so we're not going to use Dark Duel on him. What do you have? Energy regen 150. We found it. So either I go for 150 energy regen or I go for stun startup, which, by the way, stun means I get attack speed. And also, because it's a startup thing, it's going to happen every six seconds again. Why, why, why had this to be the choice right now? Mm, do I want to stun the opponent for half a second at the beginning of the fight? I don't think I need that. I think it's better to go with every time I ulti, I gain energy. Give me this. Thank you very much. The next boss I know has trash. Okay, we found this again. Uh, 40 energy regen just... By, by, do I want all of these? Is the big question. Get the stones to lose 5 strength. Tadak speed scaling. This is the only yes I would say. Maybe Maniac is also good. I'm not really sure I want all of these. I definitely don't want this like at all. Let's roll away from these. Okay, I got the energy region back. I also lose vulnerable, gain dodge. This is so much better. Scale region, crit chance, attack speed. This is just better. This is shock. So we're going to just buy all of them. Region, dodge, less vulnerable. Wait a minute. I'm not going to buy all of them. That's not worth it. Uh, yeah, it's definitely not worth it. I mean, I have 35 income, but still not worth it. Let's get crit chance. And I think we're going to leave it there. And maybe I'm going to buy the next shop all in all. It's not like I need to spend the money. Ultimate. Ultimate. Stun lock. Again. This guy has no scaling whatsoever. He just has a bunch of life and a bunch of damage. If you if you arrive at this fight with 25 armor, by the way, he does nothing to you. He's also not going to do nothing to us. Look at this. Look at this fight we're doing here. He's trying his best. I'm not really allowing him, though. 22 attack speed down. Yeah, we have two ice and we are bringing them down. Like, each ice is about 10 attacks per second. Very nice. Another coffee or more choices? I mean, another coffee is 600 energy every two seconds. Uh, every six seconds. Uh, yeah, 300 energy every six seconds. No, no, I'm gonna go with more choices. So maybe we're gonna get more energy region or more things in general. Yep, 65 energy region. Found it. 25 dodge is helping us survive too, by the way. 700. Yeah. You know what? The more energy I have, the more I'm healing with the 750 health per ulti. Let's go. We're a back and forth build. <laughs> Ultimate is good as damage. Might as well. Opponents don't ulti. Yeah, I would say opponents don't ulti is good. Remove 5 energy when, for 1 second when you shock them. And I'm shocking a lot because I'm attacking a lot. I don't want to go with this again. Let's go with this. Let's, let's try to drain them down from energy. Let's see if I can make the opponents not attack us with ultimates at all. Oh, we're dying. Oh, we're dying. Yeah, I'm, I'm blocking their energy region, actually. We almost died, but we actually survived. And if they ulted us, we could have died, but we didn't. Okay, energy region against ultimates give you ultimates. I would say ultimates give you ultimates. This is 150 energy almost every second, because I'm ulting almost every second. I think this is better than this. Let's go with 150 energy back on ulti use. As that combos into more of them. Like, these combo into each other. Where are these? Where are they? Here, these combo into each other. If you have five of these, they're gonna all trigger a lot faster than if you have one of these. In the same vein, I mean, energy region also combos itself, but eh. Which, I'm, I'm negative and vulnerable, so I can take whatever I want. I would say 5% dodge is the best choice here. Because it blocks attacks. Health blocks, everything. Health region's nice. I would say 5% dodge. Because I, it's not 5, it's like 8%. And the main issue I have is with opponents attacking us. He's about to ulti us. I mean, in the same... Yeah, health health is a bit weaker than dodge, based on how you look at it. Two shocks. Emergency 90 regen. I mean, dark duel. Do we have... Yes, I take this. Give me this. Give me this. And just like that, I got even more energy regen. Ulti, whoop, ulti, whoop, ulti. Look at this. Look at us just getting more and more ultis. Whoop, we just got ulti, and he's gone. After the first ulti, we have infinite ultis. Give me one more of those. Yes! Yes! And just like that, we broke it. We broke it. How many of these we have? We have four. Four times 150. That's 600 energy whenever I ulti. And I have 663 energy regen. My ulti is 1,000. So every second I'm ultiing. Uh, I'm going to buy all of them, obviously, other than this. So we're going to go fish gives us money. These are all useless. I would have liked to reroll. And these are completely useless. And these two are comboing, but they're not going to combo because I don't have the flippy floppers. Completely useless. Maniac is not a thing I have, right? Yep, Maniac is not a thing I have. So I guess we're only going to buy this, this, and get the money back, and this. 
I don't want the strength. I don't want the attack speed per fight. This is the final fight. So if I don't die right away, we're gonna win. And I'm not gonna die right away because it doesn't do anything. We won. Nice. We won. Look at him. Stunned. Stunned. Stun. Look at the stun. Stunned. 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 Yeah, he, he's gone. He's gone, man. He can't even attack. He cannot. He only has 22 flexes, man. Yep, he can't do- I have 580 healing here, I'm stunning more and more and more. I'm, I'm not really scaling, but I'm also not allowing him to play, so I'm scaling health regen, I guess. And attack speed, and his energy regen is the negatives. <laughs> we destroyed this guy. How much attack speed did I have at the end? I didn't even see- let me rewatch this just to see how many projectiles did I fly. Damage this emojis thrown 1600, and enemy, 880. He had 12 emojis and he flew 880. I had 9 emojis and threw a thick 1600. Just to rewatch this. I mean, imagine. he. Look how long the fight's gonna last. And he's supposed to fling one uh, flex every second, right? So he's supposed to fling one flex every second. He has two of them. So two flexes per second is what he should be flinging. Uh, and he's fl flinging one per second, pretty much. So half the duration he's stunned. Look at my attack speed. 700, 755, 765, 700. And it just goes up. The base also goes up. The Bovati is triggering it again. My regen's through the roof. He can't do anything to us. We're also dodging. He's doing some 170s to us because he did have a lot of damage at the end. But still, he was very, very weak. We had six, uh, 50,000 healing. And he did 16,000 damage. <laughs> My healing was through the roof here. Health regions a lot, and healing was also a lot. Nice, this healing was from the ultimate shots. This is from the Boba T. Nice, we won with the good old Pika face. Nice, 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 nice. And once again, I would say that it's a bit sad that you lose, like, I, you lose the V-Bucks. It's not V-Bucks. You lose the Bucks, but you gain, you don't gain any. So that's definitely an oversight. Definitely, definitely an oversight. On the other hand, you might say, but if then people could definitely farm uh, mods. So what? Like, the bucks don't even matter. Uh, now, what do you want to see next in this mod? We can do the Spike Knight, deals Thorns as damage, and deals Armor as damage. So one build would be the Thorn build, and another one would be the Armor build. Or the Death Star. This thing summons a black hole after uh, 6 seconds, and then it has TIE Fighters. Deals 1.5 damage as damage. This thing has an insane energy amount. It has no dodge whatsoever. You cannot gain dodge on this character because obviously you should not be able. Ultimate damage is 15,000. Right? And you have 3,000 starting health and 3, and 3 armor. So, and 40 income. So you are big money, big armor, big everything, but you are very weak at attacking. You just shoot with uh, two attacks <laughs> and like, phew, 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 phew. Uh, it's it's going to take a year for somebody to die from this thing. Uh, but you're also going to die, not yourself, because you're a mega tank. I do enjoy this as an idea. What do you want to see? Uh, this or this? I'm obviously going to do two runs with each so uh, that we showcase the different builds. This build, I would say, is maybe the ultimate build is the one and the other one would be the tank build and this is the armor build and the spikes build if you, if i don't see anybody commenting or if i just shoot them and or i'm just gonna shoot them first death star and then spike knight because i'm pretty sure obviously everybody wants to see the death star hope you guys enjoyed as always thanks for watching and see you guys around